Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. I literally just filmed a, um, I already have one section done. I ran out of memory space, so I went through and I deleted all these videos and I accidentally deleted the one that I just filmed. So I'm just gonna start over because I literally, I didn't hardly get far at all. So I'm going to show you, so we're doing straightener crimps today very simple um anybody can do this it's so much easier than a straightener curl so don't be intimidated because it's a straightener it's so simple so i'm gonna take just a piece here in the front to kind of show you i already have one over here done but anyways all right so use your heat protector always um and make sure that your hair is 100 percent dry do never ever put hot tools on damp hair so right now i'm going to use the redken iron shape just use a tad bit and i'm going to take my straightener start all the way up and you're just going to kind of tilt it this way pull go completely 180 the other way pull Pull, pull, pull. It's literally so simple and it's the cutest look. I wore this to a concert a couple weeks ago. I loved it. So I'm trying to like get better lighting here so you can kind of see. Can you guys see? You can see this one a lot better. Also for the record, I never wear tank tops in my tutorials because I really, we all have our, you know, demons. I hate my arms, but I get so freaking hot when I wear longer sleeves and I use hot tools. So, busting out the guns today. So, I'm gonna go on layer two. I already have layer one done. Sorry about that. That was my bad. Typically with like a straightener curl look or um, any other look really, I do three sections with my hair, but um, this one, I kind of want the sections to be a little bit thinner. The slower you pull, the more intense those crimps will be. But since I am pulling like a little bit quicker, I do like um, the sections to be thinner so that way the heat is able to um, get all the way through. Pull. I'm probably just gonna shut up now i'll chit chat here and there but i'm gonna fast forward through this because it's very explanatory and i'm sure you could even figure it out while i'm fast forwarding <laughs> underneath part honestly it does not have to be perfect um none of it has to be perfect it's kinky like that's nothing about crimps is perfect but don't like waste your time focusing like where hair is going to fall over the hair that you're doing i sometimes do that because i um, am a perfectionist and then i'm just like what the fuck am i doing who gets the crap Okay, so I'm done with this section. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit of texture spray. I'm using the Orbe Dry, and I'm just gonna kind of put it in there. So it won't be so hard to get volume when we're done. The sun is beaming in my face right now. I picked the wrong time of day. I caught my daughter, so if you don't know me personally, I have a two-year-old daughter, her name's Violet. She's the cutest kid um, in Colorado. Fact, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but um, she, I woke up this morning, I like sleep, you know, I have a monitor for her bed. And I woke up because I could hear something, someone talking and I look in her monitor, I don't see her. So I'm like, oh my God. So I go into her room and she was literally rocking 
her babies, plural, two babies, um, in her in, in the rocking chair that I rock her in, like in the corner of her room. She was rocking her babies, talking to them, singing to them. Adorable, right? Well, it was also 3.30 in the morning. So then I tried to put her to bed. I'll start doing this, so. Spray your, hate to protect the. Um, so anyways, I put, I went to pick her up to put her to bed and she wrapped around me like a spider freaking monkey. And she said, mommy's bed, I wanna sleep in mommy's bed. So, I like, she never wants to sleep with me, ever. So, when she says that she wants to, it kind of excites me. Um, although, I don't want her to get in the habit, but I don't mind like cuddling. Oh my god, I brought her to my bed with me and she literally just talked and kicked us for like close to two hours before I was finally like, look, it's not working out, babe, you gotta go to bed. So I put her to bed. She slept until 10.09 a.m. Like she's normally up at like seven. I didn't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I, I, I have had a weird morning, a weird day. Normally I would be filming around like 11.30. It's, what time is it? It's 3.30 because she just went down for a nap. Like. 30 minutes ago so she'll be up late I guess anyways I'm gonna shut up now oh and I do want to point out that um, when you're at the root instead of going this way at the root because that kind of you won't be able to see a crease um, cause you're kind of just going, you know, the way that you would like curl hair or whatever I would always go against that so I'd take it in your first movement should be inwards so that way you get that nice crease at the root so it doesn't look like it starts you know five inches down or whatever and if your hair is so clean and soft and gross I hate clean hair take a little bit of hairspray god thank god I just need a little bit because I'm almost gone and spray it and then just go over it again and you'll really get that crimp in there. Oh yeah, much better. Probably gonna do this top section in a couple sections. Well, the left side anyways, because I, part, I parted a little bit deeper. So this is way thicker than this section, so I'm gonna break it into two. So, my curly roots kinda help a little bit with this look. So I'm gonna break that up. And since I really want the top to be really prominent, I'm gonna take that hairspray. Well, first I need to take some heat protector. Here it's sizzling on my straightener. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna take some hairspray. Because I really want this top section to be as crimpy as possible. So, like I said, you wanna go down first. So you really get that. And you are kind of pulling more than you would with any other look, so it doesn't feel wonderful. But I have like the most pussy ass, baby ass head anyways. So much fun, I like love this look. Can you even see? I feel like I can't tell. There we go. Down first. And if there are parts that you feel like could be crimpier, like I didn't get the root that well here, you don't have to be perfect with like the spacing and the placement of the crimps. They can just be small, big, everywhere. So you can go back through and just do a little bit of an already crimped piece. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna I'm 
not gonna lie to you, I wish my hair was a little dirtier because it is just so fuzzy. I hate it so much. I wish I never, ever, ever had clean hair. I suppose I could probably make that wish come true. But then I'd get like dandruff and smell like a homeless person. So maybe I won't do that. Okay, so we just have this little baby piece to do now. I want to get really close to the room. So I'm going to take a little bit of oil. I'm using the Orbe Gold Lust. Almost gone. And I'm going to just kind of run that through like my layers that are popping out. I'll just smooth them out a bit because I used hairspray while I did hot tools so they look really fuzzy. Really what I really like the way that this looks. I mean you can you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can wear a band t-shirt, or you can wear sequins. So if you are trying to recreate this look and you are seeing that it's flat or it's not as crimpy as you would like it to be, make sure that you just go a little bit slower in between each crimp and make um don't pull as long. Like if you're pulling long versus <laughs> does that make sense? Um, so just do shorter lengths in between each crimp and that will um, make your look a little bit more um, what is the word I'm looking for crimpy <laughs> alright I'm going to take my camera off of these tripod and I'm going to give you an up close look at these crimps just so you I know that this lighting is hard but if I don't have the lighting then I look like shit <laughs> for real Okay, so here's a little bit closer. And I filmed this video in 25 minutes, so it won't take you long. I'll probably have crimpy hair now for a week because I never wash my hair because I hate clean hair. Day three hair, best hair. You have grease, you have dirt. You have all the product that you've been using. It's all built up on your hair and it's so obedient. You can do anything with it. So I have noticed that I get so many more views and so much more feedback on my hair tutorials. I think there's like just less competition or you know, people are just more stupid with hair maybe. I don't know, which is great because I um, actually enjoy doing hair a lot more. Um, so if anybody has any suggestions on some new hair tutorials that I'm, I could do, I know I'm gonna do one on my naturally curly hair. I'll probably do a second straightener curl one just because um, I really don't think I was as thorough as I should have been and slow. So I will do that again at some point. Um, I just like love it, so cute. I might be having like my sister-in-law or friend or something come over and do some tutorials on updos. If anybody's interested, if they have, you know, little girls, I sure wish my little girl had hair where I could show you, but she's still my fuzzy head. Um, I'm hoping for four, four years old, she's going to have hair that I can play with on here. But um, I can still do looks that you can create on your daughters or sons or whatever um, on my sister's. So, shout out to my sister-in-law. If it wasn't for her, I would have never done this YouTube channel. She, like, and my husband both pushed me so much um, out of my comfort zone, and here I am. So, love ya. Um, anyways, I, I might have her on here a couple times and use her hair and do some um, some different fun looks. Maybe some braids, or um, I know how to do literally every single braid, and so many updos. I can't even, I could post a bajillion pictures of all my updos that I've done. Um, I love updos. I love them. I appreciate all of the um, feedback that I get. So if you, like I said, if you guys have some suggestions or some ideas, let me know. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Until next time. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Until next time. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. 
Oh, I just need to go. Okay, thank you guys for watching for real. I'll just like shut up now. Thank you for watching and until next time.